Declination and angle of dip are two important terms associated with meridians in survey. So before I explain what is declination and dip, we need to study what is meridian. Meridian is defined as a fixed line of reference that can be any line in the survey or an imaginary line. There are several classifications for meridians in some way. But here we are going to explain two main types of meridian, true meridian and magnetic meridian. True meridian is the north-south line that is passing through the geographical poles of the Earth as it is something associated with the geographical poles of the Earth. It is also called as astronomic meridian. Magnetic meridian is a referenced line that is parallel to the magnetic lines of forms of Earth that is passing through the magnetic north and magnetic south of the Earth. So a magnetic meridian can be identified using a freely suspended magnetic needle that is influenced by the Earth's magnetic needle. Now coming back to declination. A declination is defined as the angle that is created between the magnetic meridian and true meridian. The magnetic mode has a certain sort of deviation from the true mode by an angle. And that angle is what we call a declination or magnetic declination. The magnetic meridian takes the direction of magnetic poles. Even though the magnetic meridian takes the position of the magnetic poles, it is not parallel to the true meridian. The magnetic poles are not points. compass which is used to represent magnetic meridian. Hence, it is obvious that the magnetic and true meridian will not be parallel to each other. This reflection of the needle as shown in the figure can either be eastwards or westwards of the true mole. In the figure, we represent the true north as the magnetic north as Tn and Mn where the magnetic declination is shown to the right side of true north which gives the east declination. And the declination towards the west is provided as west declination. The east declination is considered to be positive and the west declination is considered to be negative. So this sign convention is followed, while calculating the true bearing of a particular line, the true bearing can be measured as the converse bearing plus the declination. If the declination is declination east, then it is added, compass bearing plus declination. If the declination is declination west, then it is subtract, compass bearing, declination. Isogonic charts. A chart or a map that shows lines connecting points where the magnetic declination of the compass needle is same at a given point of time is called as isogonic chart or isogons. A line passing through points of zero declination are called azagonic lines. The chart helps to predict the magnetic declination at any place on a particular date. Let's talk about angle of dip. Angle dip gives the direction of Earth magnetic field. Earth is like a large magnet with large magnetic field around it. A dip meter is a vertically mounted compass that when placed in various location of the Earth will give various angles of Earth's magnetic field with the vertical plane. This angle is called as angle of dip. Its value is 0 degrees at equator and 90 degrees at magnetic poles. The imaginary lines joining the points on the Earth's surface with equal dip are called as isoclinic lines. You can read the complete article and the link is given in the description below. If you like this video, let us know by liking sharing, subscribing to our channel Civil Engineering Fanatics.